Hello everybody, it's Fishboy Tim from the Fishboy Tim Co. And welcome back to episode 2 of No Armor Dungeons. Where today we are going to, here let's, if we look at the map. So as you can see, we have completed both Squid Coast and Creeper Woods. Even though there isn't a check mark there, I'm not sure why. But anyways, we have actually four levels we could do. And so today we are going to be doing... We're going to do pumpkin pastures, and if we do that successfully, then we are going to also be doing Cacti Canyon. Those are probably two of my favorite levels, mostly because of the open sky aspect. And yeah, they just look, they look really nice. So, let's hop into pumpkin pastures. So, my goal was to find the village and starting off, so I just went down the path. Just slaying all the mobs that I found. And we were actually doing pretty good because I had guarding strike on my on my sword, which meant that basically 50% of damage was neglected for a certain time. So that was really good. Now I thought the creepers would be a problem, but I had accidentally set the difficulty too low. I want it to be about the same as the power level, but I accidentally set it too low. So creepers, I was just one-shotting them. Epic bow snipe. And after some more traveling, I finally reached what I guess you could call our first, I, I don't know, battle siege, whatever you call it. But I reached the gate, and this is where I thought things were going to get kind of rough, but this was honestly one of the mo easier things. As I mentioned before, I think I had the difficulty set way too low. And as you can see, I'm just slaying all these mobs first hit. And then came another siege, which is from where I had, from where you lowered the drawbridge. And this one was actually a fair bit harder, mostly because there were just more mobs and also stronger mobs. But as you can see, there are a lot more illagers. But I persevered, did not die, and that guarding strike was so, once again, it was so helpful. And I did manage to lower the drawbridge. Now, only a little bit after I had crossed the drawbridge, an evoker showed up. And that was really scary because it was the first mob, like, powerful, like, boss mob. I guess this is technically a mini boss mob that had I had encountered. And But I just whacked my sword at it, whacked it away, and, of course, you know, firework rock and stuff. And I easily defeated it, which surprised me a lot. And after reaching another supply chest, I had realized that we had missed, or we had not been looking for, a vill the villager, the merchant villager that is supposed to be on this level. And I had completely forgotten that. So here, I'm just going back to make sure if I forgot, or if, like, if I missed him. But I think, sadly, I had. But after another minute of traveling, I had finally reached the village, and all I needed to do was ring the warning bell. And after attempting to shoot the bell to see if that would ring it, I finally just went up and rung it, and then thus begun the final battle of Pumpkin Pasture. So this was actually fairly easy. It wasn't even the hardest battle. It was just I, because the difficulty was so low, I was able to one shot most of the mobs, and but I did get very very close to dying. I think about half health, which was getting quite scary. And then here is another spot where I almost died just because I could not move. But I did manage to level up, which restored my health. And then came the final boss of the level, the Evoker. And this boss was fairly easy to defeat, actually, still. I quickly went and killed that, uh, I don't actually remember his name, but the stone guy. And then I just worked away at the Evoker's health. And with the Evoker defeated, I went and finished the level. Alright, well, I would say that went pretty well. We only... We didn't even die, which I think might have, like, been because I had the level 2 low. So I am going to try and say it, you know, just because content, I don't know, make it more dramatic. But we forgot to get the villager! <laughs> 
Oh, we forgot about the captured merchants. I'm really annoyed about that. But, anyways, we are going. My power is three. What is recommended power? Four. Can I go any lower? No. All right. Well, you know what we're doing? We're doing Cacti Canyon. And so there I went. First up, powering the beacons and get across the first little bridge. And then I just went on slaying all the mobs. I also had enough XP to upgrade Guarding Strike, which was such a good decision. I then went on exploring the map, having the tab thing open to make sure that I don't miss any hidden crevices where there could be a merchant. And I eventually made my way and found this one, the area that has all of the levers and beacons to turn on. And there were actually quite a few mobs there, but I dealt with them. And after powering on all the beacons, I did manage to get across the bridge. The next problem I encountered was a group of skeleton horsemen. And I actually dealt with this pretty quick, although my health did get low. But, you know, a few swipes of the sword and they were all defeated. I also managed to get a new bow, which I then went and enchanted with acceleration. And then I reached the part of the map where you need to go and get the golden key, but that is locked behind the door that you need the blue key for. So I did the boss fight so that I can lock the gate to get the blue key, got the blue key, opened the door, and I finally unlocked the gold door. After wandering through the rest of the level, I finally reached it, the last gate. And all I had to do was defeat all the mobs that the Arch Illager was spawning on me. And once I had gone and freed the village merchant, I went and finished the level. Ah, you found the ancient desert temple. Who knows what truths and treasures await you inside? All right, well, there we go. We have beaten Cacti Canyon. And without dying, may I add, although there were some very, very close calls. And we have also got the Luxury Merchant, which, I'll be honest, is, like, the worst merchant I could have gotten. Like, no offense but, like, to the Luxury Merchant, but, like, I never buy stuff from him. At least, at least we have the Village Merchant. So I'm gonna restock here. Armor and... Corrupt Beacon, though. That I am taking. We are taking a Corrupt Beacon. Those things are very, very useful. We're gonna place that with the rod. Anyways, that is going to be the end for this episode of no, Ar of no Armor Dungeons. If you enjoyed it, then please leave a like. And if you really did, then make sure to subscribe because you're not going to want to miss out on any, of this on any of this adventure. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.